Welcome to the Whiskey Jug, the only whiskey show on the internet that is co-hosted by a long-haired chihuahua. My name is Josh, and today we are doing the last glass review of the High West Rendezvous Rye Whiskey. So what we've got here in the Rendezvous Rye is a blend of an old rye and a young rye. Uh, the young rye is a 95.5 uh, MGP rye. So that is actually what you have in a bottle of this. It's that 95% rye, 5% malted barley uh, rye whiskey. And I don't know that this is exactly six years, but that's going to create the base that's in this. Then the second rye that they add to it is a 16-year Barton rye, which is 80% rye, 10% corn, and 10% malted barley, which they did actually release as their 16-year rye. Now, this 16-year uh, Rocky Mountain rye doesn't exist anymore. It's uh, not in the distillery. It's not anywhere that you can easily find it. And so this one is a bit of a unicorn. Um, you can still find it. I know I've seen some people on the forums have picked it up uh, randomly and just off the beaten path kind of places, um, gathering dust. It's not going to be something that you're going to just come across in like Bevmo or anything like that since they don't sell it anymore. Uh, they are still using some of these old 16-year-old and so on uh, Barton Rise, but they're using them a lot less. And you can tell that because when you compare something like this, which is an old one. So this right here, this is a uh, batch 11 bottle 701. When you look right down here, it's got the 2008 double gold San Francisco Spirits Award. So this is actually, uh, you know, batch 11. This is something that I picked up when I was living in Utah. So this bottle I picked up sometime around 2009-ish. What they use to make this at least the, the levels, because even though High West is really good about disclosing what's in the bottles, the levels, for obvious reasons, they don't disclose. And so the reason I know that it is different is because if you taste something like this, the batch 11, it is a lot richer than, say, something like this, which is the batch 13F24, bottle 733. So now this does taste quite a bit different. You can see, see that I've already had a sip, plus I've had uh, a couple other bottles in between. But uh, this one I decided to open up just you know a little while ago and do the uh, to really go through the old bottle of it. So what we're going to do is we're going to actually taste this one, and then we're going to compare it to this one. So let's start with the uh, batch third or batch eleven. You want to sniff that first? Yeah, okay. She likes it. So right off the bat, we get a lot of rye, get a lot of dill, a little bit of caramel in there, some dark fruit leather, like um, if you ever had like, you know, the, the strawberry, cherry, dark fruit, compote uh, mix fruit leathers. Uh, those are really, really good, by the way. Uh, that's the kind of aroma. Uh, wood, some citrus has come in there, a little pepper, a little leather. Um, when I originally opened up this bottle, there was a lot more of the sweetness in there. There was a little bit of vanilla, there was a little bit of, uh, the caramel was a little bit higher, but now, and about, uh, looking back through my notes, getting about halfway through the bottle and going down, the more spicy aromas, the, the rye, the earthiness from like, the wood and the dill, those all started to come up a lot more. So those are the things that came up much more as you're hitting about that halfway mark. And uh, from there, they've really taken over, but in a really, really good way. Now let's go for the taste. So for the on the flavor, or on the palate, the rye, again, very, very dominant. Dill. The wood has moved up quite a bit from where it was when it was first opened. There's some good butterscotch in there, some notes of caramel, some vanilla, some strawberry, you know, dark fruit again is in there, but it's not fruit leather, it's a little bit juicier of a fruit. 
Yeah, that rye and that wood have really come up quite a bit. And I wish I could actually share these with you, but you, those really high, strong, spicy dill flavors, those come are very, very, very prevalent in this, uh, you know, this bullet rye, the 95.5 MGP, which is also used in Dickel rye, uh, Templeton rye uses it too. So there's, uh, and there's a lot of others. Um, Willet even used it for a while. So there's a lot of brands of using. So that dill pickle kind of flavor, really strong notes come from here. Now those woody notes don't come from, you know, something like this, it's a little bit younger. So you're getting a lot of those woody notes that come through, they're actually coming from this. This uh, 16 year Barton has a lot more woody notes in it. A lot more of the vanilla and the caramel coming through from this as well. It's a lot more complex. And a lot of that stuff, as it's been, uh, you know, working its way towards empty, or as I've been working its way towards empty, have really started to come out and really take over and add much more to it. So let's hit the finish, and then we'll do a comparison. In the finish, it's very rye and oak. There's citrus in there, pepper. There's this uh, strange sweetness that's a little... I want to call it like sherry like there's it's like a dark fruit sweetness in there that uh, mixes in really nicely with everything else very complimentary it's something that has uh, oh, it's a little it's, you know a little something extra so even looking at the back of these bottles they're actually uh, quite in the front is exactly the same I know you're probably not going to see it but on the back They've got a different, there's a, the horse from the front is on the back here. On the back of this one, the new one, they've got uh, the High West logo. And even the wording back here is different too. They've changed that. You want down? All right, I'm losing my co-host. Okay, so let's do a little side-by-side -side here. I've already done this before sitting down to film it, so I know I'm rooting some of the TV magic there, but uh, the YouTube magic, but um, we're going to do that. So you're just smelling them side by side. Just having this older one and this younger one just side by side, it's, they're so different. And this smells so much more like this, uh, whereas this smells so much more like this. You can tell that, you know, even though they are still using some of the 16-year Barton in there, that it's in these later batches, it's really become a lot more of this. Like, I don't think it was a 50-50 mix to begin with here, uh, but there was definitely a lot more of this. I mean, I'm thinking now, this is probably making up 75, 80%, maybe even a little bit more of what's in this, just on the nose. That dill pickleness, the ryeness, the, it really comes through, but there's not a lot of wood. I mean, this one when first opened didn't have a lot of wood, it came a lot, but there was a lot more to begin with than it did with this one. It's not nearly as complex, not nearly as robust. Still smells great, still has a great aroma to it. Yeah, it's not as sweet. There's not as much of the caramel and vanilla, butterscotch, those kind of darker sweet notes. So let's move to the palate. Okay. As different as the noses were on the palate, I and mean, we're talking night and day difference. And the, there really is a stark difference between the two here. And color wise, too, when you're looking down towards here, I know it's a little darker, but it's so, this is so much darker than this one. So you can even tell from the color that there is some older stuff in here than on here. So on the palate, the uh, just the flavor difference is so so different, and this one is it's richer, it's deeper, it's 
more complex. Those, uh, yes, rye and wood do leave the pack, but the dark sweetness, those dark sweet notes coming through really, really impact this and have you know, a really profound uh, balance to this. Whereas this one, it's a little bit harsher. I mean, the, the, the rye notes that come from here, the astringency, some of those types of notes all that are, you know you find in this bottle, a lot more than you find in this bottle, are really coming through on this one. So now let's get the finish. Yep, that rye, the oak, really good, nice sweetness, little citrus pop. Yeah, see this one, not quite as much. Um, it's just rye, citrus pop. There's uh, a little bit of pepper, leather, just a tiny hint of oak. It's not very powerful. Side by side, they are quite different whiskeys. This one is definitely richer, it's thicker, there's a lot more going on here. Whereas this one is a little bit more toned down. You can tell it's definitely got a lot more of the 95.5 MGP, which isn't a bad thing because it isn't a bad rye. It's, you know, big, bold rye flavors, very spicy, very tasty. But when tasting them side by side, there's just no comparison. This older stuff is just ridiculously good. So if you come across any of these older bottles, something that if you happen to find any that are you know, down here in the, the singular, the double digits like this one, um, get it. When I was living in Utah, you know, this is where, when I had grabbed one of these bottles, um, I, I mean, we were drinking this stuff since batch one and two, three, five, seven. And we had, we got, we went through a lot of the high west stuff being uh, Utah natives and it was all really good stuff. Like from day one, it blew us away just how good it was. And this is still really, really good stuff. I don't want to, you know, disparage High West at all because they really do put out some really high quality stuff. But uh, for this one, for the Batch 11, I originally gave it a 91. And I'm actually going to keep it right there to 91. And it did get a little bit richer, but it did lose, you know, while some of those more savory and spicy notes went up, some of the, the sweeter notes went down, some of the sweeter notes almost disappeared. So it was a good shifting, balancing act between them. And uh, at the end of the day, it's still, it's in the 90s, so it's still in that upper echelon of whiskeys. This is really good stuff. If you find the older ones, if you can come across them in the liquor store or anything, make sure to grab them. All right, this is the Whiskey Jug. I'm Josh, High West Rendezvous Rye. Cheers.